And I think the Israelis uh, lashed out in ways that are counterproductive. Uh, I think, you know, going on a rampage and, you know, killing huge numbers of civilians is not, it's obviously morally wrong, but it's also just not in their strategic interest, right? I mean, because uh, it's, it's not going to buy them anything, right? And in fact, it's going to cost them, right? Because people all over the planet are turning against Israel. Uh, I saw, you know, an Israeli think tank today uh, that has been tracking uh, protests around the world, um, gave some figures for what it looked like uh, between October 7th and October 13th in terms of the number of uh, protests around the world that were pro-Israel versus pro-Palestine. And then it looked at the numbers from uh, October 13th up to the present. And I think the numbers were 69% were pro-Palestinian in the first six days after October 7th, 69%. And I think 31%, take these numbers with a grain of salt, 31% were pro-Israel. So I think it was 69 and 31 um, and, uh, since then, uh, since October 13th, if you look at the number of protests around the world, 95% have been pro-Palestinian and 5% have been pro-Israel. Uh, and what this tells you is that public opinion around the world has shifted against Israel. And if you look at some of the demonstrations in places like London and Washington, D.C., it's truly amazing the number of people who are coming out in support of the Palestinians.